See, we have the verbs. If you use any verb as noun, adjective, and adverb, not as a verb, then we call that verb a non-finite verb. And three forms of non-finite verbs are gerund, infinitive, and participle. And we should know how to use these correctly to show that range of our grammar in our sentences. Here we have some verbs. We have to understand this. This is uh, an area where uh, some of us go wrong. So common verbs followed by a gerund. So you admit, you advise, you deny, you deny something, consider. So after these verbs, you have a gerund. You do not put infinitive after them. Like I cannot say I finished to drink water. I should say I finished drinking water. I finished eating something or doing something. Imagine going there. We cannot say imagine to go there. I miss being at so-and-so place, right? I miss um, playing with my friends. So ing form, so that's gerund. So after these, we have gerunds. Now look at uh, these. Agree, you agree to do something, right? You, you, you intend to do something, you intend to go somewhere. I didn't mean to hurt you. Hmm? So you, it cannot be, I didn't mean hurting you. You plan to do something. You promise to do something. So after these, you put only infinitive. Now let's look at the others. They can be followed by both infinitive as well as gerund. You begin to do something, you begin doing something. You like to do something, you like doing something. So now choice is yours. You can choose some verbs from here. And give me two or three sentences. I'll be asking each of you to answer. You can talk about your future plans, or you can talk about something that you like or dislike, or you can even give advice about uh, maybe like advice uh, about controlling pollution. Anything, think of a topic and talk about it. So let's start with Sheetal. Yes, Sheetal, and use words from here, please. You have to use verbs from here. Huh? Mom, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. So what, I, what we have to do, we have to use those words and we have to explain something. That's what you are saying? Yes, that's what I mean. If you cannot think of a topic, just use these words in sentences, at least two or three of them. Like like dislike, so I I dislike doing something like Correct. like that, right? Correct. Okay. I dislike traveling to my office for an hour, right? <laughs> I dislike to I dislike to stuck in the traffic every single day while going oh. office and coming oh. home. Wait, so this is wrong. You cannot say I dislike to get stuck in the traffic. You this is wrong. You cannot say I dislike to get, I dislike getting stuck in traffic. Okay, I dislike, I dislike getting stuck in the traffic in while the, going office and while coming back home. While going to office, all right. So do you notice now after dislike, you can put only a gerund, right? Not infinitive. Okay. That's why I corrected you. Okay. Good enough. All right, one sentence will also do. Yes, Sora, go ahead. Uh, usually I spend my weekend by enjoying movies with my friends. Uh, I usually go to the nearby cinema hall for enjoying the movie. Wait, which verb have you used? Enjoy. You have not used enjoy as verb. For oh, what? Okay. For enjoying. You use this as gerund itself. Use the verb enjoy. Use the word enjoy as verb. Hmm? I uh, enjoy. Now complete the I, Yes, ma'am. Uh, I uh, usually I enjoy movie in my weekends with my friends. I enjoy movies. I enjoy watching movies. I, I, I yes, ma'am. I enjoy watching movies. Right. So you put a gerund yes, watching over there. Hmm? 
Vinay, go ahead. I appreciate to saying uh, not not to my boss. Appreciate saying not to my boss manager. Okay, you you, you appreciate saying no to your. Uh, I appreciate uh, ignoring others from my boss. All right. You see, we appreciate something, huh? I discuss <coughs> the plan. Uh, the plan with the team and i love to start which word have you used discuss and plan and start the last one is start so, uh, we are practicing what gerund infinitive so i discuss after discuss uh, a gerund i discuss discuss the plan no 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 so you discuss the you discuss the plan that's absolutely correct but if you have yeah. to put you discuss what? You discuss uh, taking the plan forward, right? You okay. discuss working on the plan. Yes. yes. Hmm? That way. Okay. All right, Gurpreet. I, I admitted my mistake. In future, it will never happen again. Okay. So I admitted. No, you admit. I admitted my mistake. In Correct. Future, Absolutely right. Never happen again. Absolutely right. If you have to put a gerund or infinitive, put a gerund after it and then practice. I admitted making that mistake. Or I admit okay. making that mistake, right? Okay. You admit doing something. Yes, ma'am. Uh, on gerund, uh, I like to make a sentence on finish. So my sentence is, as a, as a supervisor, I inform my team to finish work by 5 p.m. And an wait, infinitive. Wait, 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 wait. Where is the gerund over here? Uh, uh, to finish, ma'am. Huh. So something has not been understood. Let me explain something to you all. What are we practicing? That when we have a sentence in which there is a subject, after the subject, there is a verb. And then if we have to put a verb form, what should we put? Should we put a gerund or infinitive? This is what we are practicing. What will be correct? So should you say, I denied going there or I denied to go there? Should you say, I finished uh, doing that work or I finished to do that work? What should you say? This is what the practice is. Should you put a gerund or infinitive after the verb? So these words are to be used as verbs. Huh? So if you use the okay. word imagine, what should you put after that? So here, uh, what has been given to you is that after these verbs, you use gerunds. Mm -hmm. Then here, after these, you use... So after these, you use gerunds. Then the next one in the next column, you whatever are there, you after them, you use uh -huh. here you use gerund after these. After these, you use infinitive. And after these, you can use both. Practice is for that. So just try now. Krishna, give me a sentence. Mm. Uh -huh. I miss uh, playing with my friends. I miss playing with my friends. Yes. Miss. So, we, okay, where is the it's word? From gerund. Correct. So, we have this. I miss playing with my friends. Fine. Yeah. Then I can say by, uh, for admit, uh, she admitted cheating on the exam. She admitted cheating during the exam. All right. During, oh, during the exam. Fine. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely right. Uh, Vinay? Now give it a try. Okay, Neeraj, any of them, you can use the infinitive. I uh -huh. I, yeah, so first I will go for the gerund. Uh -huh. I enjoy watching movies, but I can't imagine uh, going alone there. Correct. So uh, this weekend I plan to go with my colleagues. Uh -huh. uh, I, like, I like to have uh, dinner with them after movie very good absolutely right 
Remember, what are we practicing? After these verbs, do we put gerund or infinitive if a verb form has to be put? Shall I? Yes, Manjit, go ahead. Uh, gerund, uh, I recommended uh, to work. I recommended her to work with. Me. I recommended working with her. Right? You recommend somebody. Do, do something or I you recommend something so I recommended working with her I recommended to working with her I, rec I recommended working with her no two after it you recommend okay, okay, something fine. right mm. okay I avoiding to do mistake uh, in exams I avoid I avoid avoid I avoid to do mistakes no, I, I avoid and we always make a mistake. We do not do a mistake. I avoid making mistakes. Okay. Right? I avoid making mistakes. I hope slowly now you all are getting it. So when you use them, sometimes you go wrong. In place of gerund, infinitive is put or in place of infinitive, gerund is put. So we need to be very careful. These verbs are not too many. Some grammar notes have been shared with you all. So I'll share this list also. You'll find this list too in your grammar notes so that you're familiar with these common verbs after which a gerund can be taken or an infinitive can be taken or both. And we can have an exercise also on this. So in classes, of course, we are going to discuss. Um, in your essays, writing tasks, task one or task two, if you go wrong, if this is explained, I hope you'll be able to understand. And let's, anyone, who's not understood the difference between an infinitive and a gerund, please complete the following. Um, I look forward to meeting you. Correct. Absolutely right. Now, who else would like to? You can volunteer. We should abstain from making comment on others. There are times when we prefer to doing uh, doing something. Prefer to, when we prefer, prefer to go. Uh, there are times when we prefer to go uh, for walking. To go for a walk. When we prefer to go for a walk. Okay, for right. a walk. When mm -hmm. we prefer to go. One okay. in future. In future, I intend to starting a uh, start a new business. Mm. I intend to start a new business, correct? Next one. I regret to inform you that I'm not able to attend that meeting. Oh, that I'll not be able to. No, I regret to inform. All right. And next one, vividly. Vividly means clearly. Hmm? Yes, who would like to go ahead? Gurpreet, Jaspreet, Deepak, anyone? I can, I can vividly I can recall vividly your name. I can vividly recall your childhood days. Wait, wait. Let's hear Gurpreet first. So, Gurpreet, you said I can vividly recall your name clearly. Hmm? Fine. Yes, sir. But use a gerund or an infinitive. What will you use? Okay, that time both of you were speaking together. Who else would like to? I can vividly recall. I can vividly recall our meeting. Fine, that is correct. So, I can vividly recall meeting that client. Right, I can vividly recall going to that place. I can vividly recall my dream. Mm, that is correct. That is absolutely correct. Here the discussion is on what? Whether to use a gerund or an infinitive. So if you have to put the verb form, that's going to be an ing form. So let's see what's there in the chat box. Yes, you can vividly recall your childhood days. Correct, Jaspreet. But if you have to think of a gerund, so recall something. So you're going to put the ing form of verb after it. Just remember, if a verb form has to be put after it, it's going to be an ing form, a gerund. So you can vividly recall going somewhere, meeting somebody, doing some work. That's the way it should be. For live online IELTS classes by expert instructors, log on to youknowlearning.com.